So these are the AirPod Pros, or AirPods Pro, and these are Apple's higher-end wireless earphone offering. Now these have been a fan favorite for a long time now, but seeing as they have just been updated and there are a plethora of other options out there, I wanted to take a look at these and find out whether or not they're worth buying in 2023 and who should buy these things in 2023. Okay, so without further ado, let's see what we get in the box. Inside the box, you obviously get your AirPods along with a USB-C cable and some instructions. So yeah, not really that much here. It's a very simple unboxing experience and something like an extra set of silicone ear inserts would have been very much appreciated. But this is Apple where nothing is free and everything is very, very, very expensive. So no real surprise there. Anyway, that's what you get in the box. Next up, we're gonna be talking about build quality, comfort, and the connection. Along with the price of Apple Pros, in traditional Apple fashion, they are a sleek blend of style and substance. They're well designed, the case having a smooth body that can easily fit into your pocket. It feels nice and durable, just not indestructible, so be careful. And overall, this product does feel well designed which is nice and you'd expect for the price tag. In terms of comfort, this is another area where, at least in my opinion, there was a significant upgrade on the original AirPods design. Instead of hard plastic, you get silicone inserts which lead to a snugger fit, and while not as comfortable as over-ear headphones in my personal opinion, this is still a significant upgrade over the original hard plastic design. In terms of connection, these are Bluetooth, obviously, but it's no ordinary Bluetooth. So mine actually used the Apple H1 chip, although the latest AirPods use the H2 chip, which essentially means two times noise canceling if Apple's marketing is to be believed. And this essentially means that Bluetooth connection is seamless. As soon as you open the case, they start to connect. And overall, it is again, a very seamless experience. In terms of actual connection, this was also very strong. I was able to walk around my house without them dropping out. However, this is an extreme use case. And most of the time, the furthest they'll be from the connection is, well, your pocket. And in that case, they will be pretty excellent. Yeah, connection is definitely a strong point with Apple headphones, whether that be AirPods or Beats. Regardless, I've always found the Bluetooth on Apple headphone products to be excellent. And I'm pleased to say on the AirPod Pros, it is no exception. Following on, we have the sound quality, which is objectively the most important aspect of any headphones. So how are the AirPod Pros? Are they actually decent or is it just flashy marketing from Apple? Well. Honestly, the sound quality from the AirPod Pros is actually pretty impressive. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not as good as my Bose NC700, which is my go-to headphones, or my Philips SHP 9000s. If that's what you want, get some of those. But chances are you don't want some of those because you're watching this video. So if you want some shockingly good audio quality for earphones, as long as you are okay swallowing that very high price tag, honestly, the quality is actually really good. They're not gonna be as flat or generally as good as studio headphones, but for the average listener who wants good quality, but doesn't wanna lug around a massive pair of headphones or use something like the speakers behind me, then the AirPod Pros are very good. I listened to a lot of Prince Daddy and the Hyena when I was testing these. Very much enjoyed that as usual. It was able to handle high volume as well. And overall, the sound quality from these AirPod Pros were shockingly good. Like I wasn't expecting to like these as much as I did. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the noise canceling because this is an area where the allegedly new AirPod Pros are better. However, the noise canceling on the original AirPod Pros are nothing to write off. It still cancels noise really well. I wouldn't say as good as on my Bose headphones, but this is, especially for earphones, again, some seriously good noise canceling. The AirPod Pros also feature a nice little transparency mode for when you wanna have a conversation or when you need to hear the Outside, and I've never found myself needing to turn my music down whenever I've used this mode. Say I'm having a conversation and I want to be able to, well, hear the other person, but I don't necessarily want to take my AirPods out, then the transparency mode is a lifesaver in these situations. The noise cancelling modes can be controlled through the phone interface, which is mostly how I've used it, as I simply prefer how intuitive it is, but it can also be done through a press and hold action on the physical AirPods themselves, which is kind of cool. Overall, the noise cancelling on the AirPod Pros is probably the best I've ever seen out of earphones. Not necessarily the best I've had out of headphones, however, I would probably give that award to some Bose headphones that I've tried. I've never tried the Sony's. I hear they're very good, but for earphones, the noise cancelling on these headphones is excellent. And finally, and very importantly, 
we have the battery life. Battery life is decent enough, clocking in at around five hours of listening time out of the case. However, it is important to remember that you can simply pop your AirPods back into the included case, charge them back up, and keep doing this for 24 hours of listening time, at least according to Apple. I haven't meticulously tested this personally, just real world use on my part, but overall, I found the battery life to be very impressive. And as somebody who's been using wireless headphones for literally years now, I personally rarely find myself in situations where I don't have charge. Once you get into the habit of plugging in your AirPods case in the evening as you do with the rest of your devices, I don't really see you running out of charge any time that it's gonna matter. And sure, while you might be without your earphones for a little while while you pop them back into the case as five hours isn't crazy, overall the battery life on the AirPods is still very decent. Okay, so are the AirPod Pros still a decent buy in 2023? Well, in my opinion, yeah. If you want a high-end pair of in-ear earphones with excellent noise cancelling, phenomenal Bluetooth connectivity, and decent sound quality, and you're not too off-put by the price, then yeah, I think they will be a decent pair of headphones for 2023. I mean, my brother uses these things literally every day and has for years now. Basically, since they came out, I think that's when he got his. And well, personally for me, I don't mind looking like a dork using over-ear headphones. If you want something casual, stylish, that sounds really good, then the AirPod Pros are a decent purchase in 2023. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know, by the way, what do you think of the AirPod Pros? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Are you listening? to this video on some. Feel free to let me know in the comments. I always enjoy reading those. As for now though, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you guys in the next one.